Welcome to the Sleepy Time Podcast. I'm your host, Tev Lev, and of course my usual co-host, Tev Lev. It's called the Sleepy Time Podcast because I am sleepy. I woke up and I woke and I got tired and I continue to be tired. And I drank a bunch of V8 energy drinks, but I forgot that they gave you energy. So I was like, I was having the worst coffee ache ever. Like, if you don't know what a coffee ache is, it's where you you basically drink too much caffeine. And it's just the most unbearable head pain, stomach pain, and chest pain. So that was earlier. Now I'm better. Like, I was on the floor like, oh, this, (laughs) this is it. You know, I was on the, I was laying on the floor spread out just like, I liked it. I was good at it. I was alive. That's how, that that's what I was thinking. You know what I mean? I was, I could hear baby blue in my head. Oh man. Anyway, but I got up to make this podcast episode and that was the first thing I did. I marched my ass over here. Sat my ass down, and now I'm just pulling stuff out of my butt. Update. Topic one. Update. Uh, I'm going to eat an entire package of Oreos. Wait a minute. I have to check something related to these Oreos. What in God's name? I was supposed to get Oreos today. So I'm going to eat a bunch of Oreos because um, people told me to. They said, you have to. And uh, yeah, I was over here thinking like, what? People are forcing me to eat an entire package of them, you know, and I'm up for the challenge. I'm going to try to eat okay for the next week because the next episode of this podcast, if everything goes okay, it will be a video format experience. And I will just be standing there eating Oreos. Yes, I will be standing there. I'm going to be standing there eating Oreos. Yeah, I was supposed to get them today, but... I know I wouldn't have. They would have not survived. What was I thinking? Did I really think I'd be able to use my... Um, I just forgot to add them to the list. It's okay, guys. Just, It's okay. I would have eaten them. That's fine. Because yeah, it's a special occasion. Come on up here. I'll talk more about that in the next episode where I eat all these said Oreos. Um, yeah, yeah, that was that was fun. Yeah, that was a fun time to, uh, talking about all those Oreos stuff just now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so big news in the channel. In the main channel, Tev Left Tin Gaming, I'm thinking about changing the name of my, of my channel. Uh, not, not to the, not to the, uh, Oreo lover or anything like that, like what you were thinking. Um, uh, this sounds crazy, but maybe Tin Tevlev, Tin Dot Tevlev, something like that. Um, because, you know, the gaming, the Tin and Tin Gaming, I, like, I don't know. Uh, at this point, the name Tevlev is much closer to a household name than Tin Gaming ever was, you know. You know what I should do? I should get the old, uh, the old Tin Crew gang. We should have an episode, yes, episode of this podcast. I almost said podcast this episode, and I just got stuck on that, you know? I'm actually surprised that I've gotten this far into this podcast without, like, getting getting frustrated and uh, because of my lack of speech ability. I'm going to go drink another V8 energy drink. 
it's just, you know, it's not easy being me. You know, on the last episode, I must apologize for my my mood. You know, I must have been more wide awake. I was less tired. It's just how it goes, okay? I got a lot of hate for that. I got a lot of hate emails for um, the tone. You know, I was complaining, endlessly complaining about people being gullible for, uh, for just believing just about anything, you know? And uh, yes, it is frustrating, but... What people really want is the stories. They want some good stories, okay? Uh, one time last year, I was... Uh, this is this is a good one. You're going to love this one. Uh, I was hanging out uh, at night. <laughs> I was hanging out at night out in public. It was at a um, a bar. And I walked up, I was, I was feeling chatty, you know, so I walked up to uh, this girl and uh, I, I said, hello. No, I introduced myself. I said, you have to bear with me with, with this name, okay? You have to use your imagination for, for what I'm about to say. I said, hi, I'm Tevlev, okay? But I didn't say Tevlev. I said my real first name. Now, my first name is not relevant to this story. So, again, you're just going to have to bear with me about the name, okay? So, I, I walked up to her, and you know what? I was just doing this to, like, I was kind of doing this to anybody, to be honest. I was I walked up to her, and I said, uh, I am definitely... <laughs> Okay, but it's crazy how you can actually do that. Well, I, I, before, and you know, I, f I feel like I can't tell if they're just being nice to me or, you know, they, they're they're frightened by me. <laughs> you know, we have to really put the blame on, uh, on 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 the other men. You know what I mean? They ruin it for all the friendly, cool gangsters like me. Uh, I wonder if you can hear the train go by. That's really obnoxious and professional. Anyway, so I was like, you know, she introduced herself back, you know, and that's always a good sign. And I think she shook my hand too, you know. She, that's a common thing, like, hi, you know. I, I don't know. Anyway, um, I... What did I possibly say after that? I have no idea. I was just sitting there waiting for my water. I ordered a water. Well, I was trying to, but it was very, very packed. I was, I, I was literally ordering a water. You know, I heard that it actually is, uh, you know, buying drinks for someone like across the bar. That's that's a, a conversation starter because it makes them feel guilty if they don't talk to you. You know, I've never, I've never done that to be honest. I, I, I don't think I've. I don't think I've bought someone who's not my friend a drink at a bar. Don't have to. I just have to say I'm Tevlev, you know, and they're just shaking my hand. Anyway. So. She, oh, I remember what she said. She said, um, I... Oh, she said, I'm engaged to a Tevla. The one with the same name as me. And we were having a little conversation, and, you know, it was fun, but, like, I was mostly just kind of bored. Because there was nothing to do. We were playing pool, but, like, that's boring, you know? So, anyway, um, I skipped later. Like, whatever. I had a conversation. Maybe I got my water. Maybe I didn't. But uh, I was at the playing pool. I would just kind of sneak away over there when it wasn't my turn. It, like her and her friends. And she had a friend there that was just like her bodyguard. So I walked over there and I said, um, yeah, I said my normal spiel, you know, I, I did my spiel signature move. I said, hi, I'm Tevlev. <laughs> I said, hi, I'm Tevlev. And, uh, 
She said that. Cool. Oh, and she said her name too. Um, and I was like, okay, nice to meet you. I, I really like your glasses. And she was wearing like these hexagon shaped glasses. And she said something I'll never forget. She said, uh, thanks, you're so dorky. And I couldn't believe that. I didn't even know what to say, but I tried to keep it together. I really tried. And I did keep it together, as far as she knows. So I responded real quick. I said, yeah, I know. I should get some new ones, you know. And I, I said, I was, I guess I was just chatting up with her because she's like standing like a brick wall in front of her friend. So I, um, I, uh, <laughs> what's that word that starts with an L? Uh, no, it doesn't start with an L. I th it starts with an S. Whatever she yeah okay I remember she told me I actually can't remember what she said she didn't tell me to go away but I did anyway it was probably my turn in pool right so I slunk away and uh, I snuck back over there later and she was just like not you know she was like kind of like keeping me away but like like I've made my new friend tonight okay. Well, I'm going to go talk to my new friend, and you're going to sit your ass down and shut up. That's what I said to her. <laughs> and uh, her friend was like, he said, just come let him talk. Like, this is my new friend. And I said, thank you. Thank you very much, friend. And she's like, yes. Back to, likewise, friend. And then, so this this girl... The security guard girl, she said, uh, she stood back up because I told her to sit down and she listened. And she stood back up and she said, I fix you up a knuckle sandwich. And I'm like, You did not just say that. What do you mean? You didn't really. Are you serious? And she said, I'm going to punch you if you step one more step. I said, like one more step anywhere can I take a step back would you hit me in the end and she's like real funny guy you're a really funny guy aren't you they, I know funny and I know you're not funny for the knuckle sandwich joke that's what I said so I took a couple slunks away just to get out of there and uh uh, then her, her other friend, well, I walked, okay, they, they were in a little group, okay, so I walked in, and I, the other way, you know, the side entrance, which was through her other friend, so I walked up there, and I said, uh, you know, I don't know why I said this, but I, I walked over there, and I, I said, like, hi, how are you, I'm Tavlev, and she, she introduced herself back, and she said, I, I'm a friend of, you know, the, the girl she's like oh that's so cool you know she's she's great and I'm like oh yeah yeah she's cool you know at this point I'm a complete psycho right who lies about that that's weird but see um I was kind of thinking she'd be like no you're not you're funny you're joking I don't know why I thought that but no uh but yeah I said, so you're friends with her too? She's like, she's my boss. Oh, so I really had just, I just walked, walked over here and lied. And I said, I'm not really friends with her. <laughs> so, and then I, and then the police showed up. Her bodyguard friend um, is dating a police officer. So he came over, he beat me up. That was a fun night, though, up till that point. There was another time where we were playing pool at the same bar before I got banned from it. Um, there was a guy, this guy, he looked familiar, 
is this old man, a gray hair, big chin, big chin, big chin. And he walked over and he said, hey, hey cupcakes, uh, y'all want to play pool for, for fun? And I'm like, not really. I didn't say that, but I was thinking it, right? And this guy, this, you know, keep in mind, this old, old man, he's probably, what, 54 or something? Old, decrepit creature. He's, this cretin comes up and says, hey, I'll play in pool. And he had, a like, a pool partner. And he walks over here, and he starts telling us stuff. Starts bragging. He was like, yeah, I know. I used to work with uh, Kid Rock and Stephen Colbert and Conan. Oh, they're all great guys. All those late night guys. Letterman, maybe. At this point, I realize this is Jay Leno. This is Jay Leno. No, it's not, though. It's not Jay Leno. It's a guy who looks exactly like him. And that it was weird because I couldn't understand why he was telling us these stories. They're not impressive. He knew so much about pool, it seemed, as well. He would, uh, in between his stories, his braggings, he would put himself in this weird position holding the pool cue. He's going to hit the ball. And he would say, like, this one's called a double whammy, slammy, pammy, right? So he has these moves. This is this is a double bounce, bounce, ball smack or something like that, right? And he would go to hit it. Like, he'd mess it up. It would be like a really shoddy shot. That would be a better name for his trick. Um... And it would just like mess up. He would. He was bad for as much as he seemed to know. He's not so good. He's not so good at it. Flippy uh, time podcast. Uh, I gotta go to bed after this. You know, I am quite, quite exhausted. But I must stay diligent. I must stay. Vigilant. I will continue the story. Push on. Never give up. Never back down. I made up that that catchphrase in case you were wondering. So he's you know he's talking about how he knows these guys and you know I don't know his name. He told us a name. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what, what he said his name was. Cajone? <laughs> That's what he said his name was. He introduced himself as Cajone. And you know what? You might be able to tell, but some stuff in the last story was made up. Okay, I didn't really get beat up. I didn't really tell that girl to sit down. Didn't really punch me. Oh, I guess I didn't say that. But this this story is tr- is real. And he's saying annoying stuff like he's trying to press us and in, in between turns you know he's he's back talking to my other friends um about oh, there's this good show you gotta check out this show um you have netflix and he's like no i don't even though i if pretty sure he does have netflix right oh well, i'll give you my netflix password and, and username so you can watch it later like this random jay leno character at a bar. We don't even want to be playing pool. Definitely not. not none of us are definitely. We're not keeping it in contact with this guy to talk about a show with him. He's giving away his Netflix password. It might have even been Amazon. So you'd be giving away your Amazon password. I swear it was Amazon. Um. And, and then he was asking him what he does for work and where he lives. And I was overhearing all this stuff and. He was lying about everything, which is good. He's like, oh, I worked down at the, at the factory. I don't know what he was saying, but definitely all made up. 
Uh, I'm from uh, I'm from Alaska. Uh, not really. I don't know what he said, but the point is, uh, it was getting late too. It was getting late. It was like one or two a.m. Right, and the the bar is gonna close soon, and so we're we're wrapping up this game of pool. It's taking forever, and uh, at this point, I find out that the winner is supposed to buy the other team beers. I I didn't know this when I agreed. It's like, uh, and also his partner, his pool partner, was just a stranger at the bar. You know, they didn't even know each other, which made sense because they, you know, they the the guy didn't want to be there. It seemed he was in the same boat as us. He was just roped in by this Jay Leno character. Okay, so he's about to win by like one ball, right? And he's gonna do the signature whoop de doop de pooped he shot right and uh he's about to hit it in but before he does that he's uh he's like yelling out loud like he puts his hands up to his mouth so he it, the, the sound travels far farther he says last call for alcohol because i don't know it's getting late they're turning the lights off i don't know why he said that right and then an employee who's like sweeping up behind him he's like oh no we we closed the bar 20 minutes ago. And then he's like, oh, well, then you can't give me the beers when I, when I sink this shot. So are we going over to your house or I got, a, I had a couple beers in my hotel or no, no. Well, how do you think this is going to work? Jay Leno? What are you doing? Why are, you're, you're what? 59 or something. You're coming to the, the pool table to pick up some twenty somethings. I don't think so, dude. Anyway, he's doing his poop de doop de whoop de or whatever. He's doing, he's in the shot, and then we just we just run out of the building and leave. We're out of there. Bef- like before he could even turn around, we just run. We run away. We don't walk. Anyway, that was fun. Uh, I would love to mess with strangers more often. Did I talk about my idea for... uh, We're in a new topic, okay? If you're still wrapped up on that story, it's time to move on to this story, okay? I want to go to a convention and uh, cosplay as Minecraft blocks, okay? So we go in a group, right? And we have these huge, cumbersome, oversized, inconvenient block costumes. They're made out of cardboard or something, right? They're big. They don't look that good. You can tell it's from Minecraft. I don't know. We like print cobblestone on it or dirt. It doesn't matter, right? But we're big. Our arms can barely stick out of it. Like our hands are sticking out for some reason even though they can't do anything it could be like a complete arms width you know what I mean it's just like six feet wide that would be funny as big as possible okay that would be so funny um so we just uh we just walk around and in a line and we accidentally bump into people right we like clothesline some kid. Oops! But we uh, here's the the thing. Here's the gimmick. We act so apologetic, so bad. We're so polite, right? And it's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I trampled your kids. It was an accident. We are so sorry. Here, have have a. Uh, I'll give you this as a gift, as an apology. And it's like a Minecraft Lego or something. Here, you can have that, kid. I'm sorry, sport. Chin up, sport. And then you turn around and leave and you smack him again. I have a really bad track history. Track history? Track history? I have a bad track record. What's the difference? What's honestly the difference? What's a track record? 
What's the difference between a track record and track history? It doesn't matter. The point I'm saying is I have a bad history with Minecon. All these Minecraft conventions, you know, it's just it just doesn't look good on me. It, I mean, if you don't know, I mean, you probably do. That This is what I'm known for. This is the number one thing I'm known for ever of all time. That, um, uh, I have a video about it. Just look it up, you know. It's called, I got canceled for a stupid reason, okay. I'm getting canceled for something stupid. That's what it was. Basically, I, someone tried to beat me up at Minecon. Just watch the video if you haven't seen it. Somebody literally tried to beat me up and I got in trouble for it. I was under attack. <laughs> under attack and they just they just were relentless I had to punch them in the face as hard as I could okay you wouldn't hear me admitting that back then but oh and I also am wearing the dorky glasses back then so if you wanted to see what my glasses look like and then of course I bought some new ones ASAP you know ASAP my name is ASAP Schrader. ASAP Schrader. Walt, you've been acting sus lately. What a great show, right? Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Great shows. Highly recommend it. I recommend it so much that I'm not even going to talk about it that much right now, even though I would love to. But I'm not going to spoil anything. The only thing I spoiled is that uh, Hank does eventually get promoted to ASAP. ASAP. Trader. ASAP Trader. Anyway. We're trying to stay on topic. Whenever you're around, you kind of get things a little distracted. Okay. We're going off of the track. Okay. My, my train of track. My... Sorry, I was trying to say the wrong thing on purpose, and that's hard to do. That's hard to do. Let me think about, when When did I wake up today? I woke up 10 hours ago at 2 a.m. It's a good morning right there. I woke up at 2 a.m. Oh, uh, yeah. It's Monday. I played a lot of Pikmin 4 over the weekend. Yes, sir. Yes, I did. Because I'm going to make a video about it. Uh, people, they, they keep asking for uh, Pikmin 3. That, uh, lots of comments, you know, that they're saying, please do Pikmin 3. We would love Pikmin 3. Please do it, please. And, like, I can't do that. Okay, sorry to disappoint my fans, but I can't be... I can't be making videos about 10-year-old games. Okay, the, when the new one just came out, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. Mario Kart, however, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is a 10-year-old game, and I will be making a video about that. Uh, it, it's it's a 9-year-old game. There's a big difference, actually. It, it's actually uh, almost exactly 9 years old, I think, but, then, you know, obviously... That's not completely accurate to say that Pikmin 3 Deluxe is a 10-year-old game when it's not. But it's old. That's my point. The Switch version is still old. Pikmin 4 just came out. I 100%ed it already. Just saying. So, I have the footage. I have the footage. But the, the footage doesn't go all the way 100%. Because that's, that's a lot. That's 30 hours of footage. Okay, we can't send that over to Norbert, my editor, and just have him ran out a video, you know. He's not an AI. Even though I have looked into AI editing. Absolutely horrendous. We'll see how that goes in the future. I, I, I am an editor. I, I have freelanced before. I would be kind of interested into trying AI editing. Because there's no way that Man, I could go on forever about editing. Uh, so I... First off, I just want to start with this. Uh, YouTube editors are the... 
probably some of the least funny people on the internet. And, you know, I'm not trying to sugarcoat it. You know, I really think they are so unfunny. Uh, you know, I think I'm just extra... I, I guess I'm extra sensitive. Sensitive related to unfunniness when it's just like repeated over years. Something... I want to say nothing is funny when it's repeated for years, okay? Year, besides... Maybe SpongeBob quotes or something, you know what I mean? But when something isn't even a joke, it's not part of anything. Okay, like, uh, how many times are you, are you, you're watching a video and someone who thinks they're hilarious comes in with a edit of uh, Filthy Frank. He comes in with his green screen. It's time to stop. It's time to stop. That's not funny. You know, uh, Markiplier comes in, or, or iDubs, all those edits that were popular like 10 years ago. That's when those videos like came out, the green screen ones. Like Mark, Markiplier, he's like, this is the worst thing. This is the best thing. And PewDiePie has some, you know, that's so old. Stop doing that. Do something else. Or the the, the quick scope edit, the th or whatever that, I, don't, I couldn't even tell you what that really is, but the little snipe thing, right? Okay, like, that's not funny anymore. I'm just extra cynical because, you know, I'm an editor, guys. Like I said, I've done freelance editing. I, I, I know all about editing. It's more than just, um, like, when you're actually in charge of thing and you don't have to just, like, do work, it actually is, like... It's like a science, you know? You have to... Like, the harder you think about it, the better the thing is going to be, in a way. You know? You have to think about, like, the pacing and make make sure things aren't too crowded and where the viewer's eyes are going to be, you know? It's not just... It's like, zooming in for emphasis and all that's important. But then people do that. They do all that stuff. All the motion, all the transitions, all the whatever. But they, it, it doesn't have a purpose. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, guys? If if I see that it's time to stop thing one more time, I'm going to fucking explode. I'm so sick of seeing that. It's not funny. It sucks. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, right? It's so bad. Right? Am I the only one thinking it's that bad? Obviously, I am the most bothered by this out of anybody, I would guess. But, man, that is annoying. Um, anyway. Yeah, there's other things in there, too. Like, the overdone stuff. I've done overdone stuff as well. I'm guilty of it, but not the filthy Frank thing. That's got to... Like, they think they're being funny, but they're actually just, they're, they're scraping, like, the, the the surface of the water barrel. You know what I'm saying, guys? You gotta scratch the bottom of the barrel. That's funny, or all that stuff's funnier. It's annoying. I hate it. I can't stand it. If you do that, I'm sorry, but you're worthless garbage piece of shit. I don't... I'm joking about that last five seconds. All that five seconds stuff was a joke, but everything else, yes, it's annoying, right? It's a shame. It's a shame. Also, things can be over-edited as well. You know, if you want to see a good example of all this stuff, if you want to see this in action, this solidified it. I just remembered... Our friends over at the Beefy Smash dudes, uh, good friends, good friends over there. They had for their recent, um, what number are they at? Uh, Smash review, Smash review two thirty one. So that's the most recent. If you go check out Smash review two hundred, they thought it would be fun to 
go all out in the editing. So they hired like a bunch of editors, not, not a bunch, but like five, I think five editors to like really like, um, make every clip like highly edited and, um, all this memes and stuff. And you know, it's, man, most of them, all but one, I feel like was just like, all right, that's not good. <laughs> There's way too much. It was, it's such a mess, dude. But that was the point. Like he said, like that they, they told them like, just go all out, put in lots of stuff. But it actually was harmful to the video because you can't even tell like, what? I don't know. You know, what, what, if they told me that if I was an editor, what, you know, I would have to do that. That's the point. But I don't know. Maybe that's the flaw. I definitely got enjoyment out of it because that's how I am with things. I like Pikmin too, guys. Um, what I I also made the, uh, two Pikmin two videos. I wasn't gonna actually do like the part two, uh, but I did anyway. And I man, I just had to sit there and fry my brain for six hours. Six hours. It was like five hours. I mean, I like just complete the last part of the game and. I don't know. It's, Pikmin 2 is not my favorite. It's not my favorite, but I do like it. And it was funny that when I put out the video, people, and I, I talked about this in the part two, people thought I didn't like it. because And that, and that made me realize, like, yeah, it, it seems I don't say anything good about it. You know what I mean? At least in the Pikmin 1 one, I, at the end, I'm like, wow, this game actually is good. I like this. But I forgot to say anything good about it. And not my favorite. I will make a Pikmin 3 video at some point, though. Pikmin 4 is just new, you know, so I got to do that. And I love it. I love it so much. Like I said, I 100%ed it. I've done everything. I've done everything. So I will get a video about the story mode out, you know, when, when Norbert cooks it up, right? He's an artist. He gets it. Norbert and I, we have the same viewpoint on editing. I taught him well. Anyway, uh, now I want to talk about um, something that you're going to love. You're going to love this. Um, in my notes, I write in my notes. I have video ideas. Um, some of these aren't going to work, and I don't even know what some of these mean. All right. December 2nd, 2022. Um, epic yarn. I guess I had an idea for a Kirby epic yarn video, but all I wrote, all I wrote was, and the thing is, like, I didn't make videos like this at the time. I was I was planning it for a while, but like, I don't, I don't know what I could have done with this. And here's what it says: the most. <laughs> The, the most epic Kirby game ever made, or the title would have you believe that, period. Personally, to put it nicely, I would say the game is more relaxing than epic. Actually pretty easy going. Calming, soothing, sleep-inducing, slow, boring, bad. Caffeine, comma, <laughs> proposed. Propose to Jennifer Aniston. What does that mean? What could I have possibly meant there? And there's just some other weird ideas. I have one category named Golden Ideas. Some of these are pretty funny, but to call them golden, that was just to amuse myself, as I do. Most of my life is just dedicated to amusing myself. All right. Here's the top one. Uh, settings songs are the best in games. Uh, I could do like a top five or something. I actually made that as a joke. It's actually on this channel. I made, the, made that video as a joke years and years ago, and then I put it on this channel somewhat recently relative to when I actually made that video. But that, that's nothing. Don't, don't go look for that. It's boring. 
this is going to be a video if live and learn isn't in Sonic 3 blah blah okay I know what that means and uh, I do want to make this video Th this is this is ripe this is a ripe idea uh, this is going to be a video as a reference to uh, Rocco Bodie. He he complains. He make he makes fake complaining videos about the stupid stuff. Like one time he said that uh, uh, they released some Star Wars news years ago, but it was like they announced it on like May first instead of May fourth, and he was disappointed that they didn't say the Star Wars news on. May the 4th be with you. Like, it's the... And uh, he's like, this is the worst news. That why, Why'd they announce all this? this is, whatever, right? He's complaining. He's, like, crying. He's never wearing a shirt in these videos. It's low quality. But he always starts it. This is how you know it's going to be a joke video. I mean, normally you can just tell anyway. But he starts it with, this is going to be a video where I, you know, whatever. And then he continues on. But it, it's funny. Of course it's going to be a video. Either way, I'm, I'm probably going to say that in this video. Uh, whenever it comes out, uh, Sonic 3, the movie, uh, Shadow is going to be in it. And I have a feeling they're not going to do Live and Learn. And that's what I'm going to complain about. Live and Learn's not in Sonic 3. I'm going to storm the Sega headquarters. I haven't thought this out yet. All right. Um, What is this? Th this idea, this is from December. Apparently, I only make my ideas in December. December 28, 2021, so a year before the last one. Uh, all, all these are here. Uh, so this is this one's called MK, as in Mario Kart. Mario Kart tourney video, $200 gift card to your mom's house, these nuts, 42069 Street. Why? You know, 420 and 69, and your mom and these nuts, honestly, all those are all part of the same category that I mentioned a couple topics ago about the editing thing, about it, n almost nothing is funny for that long, for that many years. Like, 69 isn't funny. Now I'm getting sidetracked. It's not funny. It wasn't even funny, like, in high school. You know what I mean? Like, what's funny about it? Not funny. 420 is not funny either. What's funny about marijuana? Okay, but but six, 69 is funny when it's when when it's brought up inappropriately. Inappropriate things in certain contexts can be funny, or if it's like unexpected. But it's not like you're not making the whole room laugh with a 69 joke. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, man, this one makes no sense. I can't even read that. It makes no sense. Uh. It's E.T. Talk. What is that? E.T. Talk. Oh, I think that was a internal name for those internal name. Like I'm a like I'm a company internal in my brain, but apparently it's not my brain anymore. I don't know. Tin Tab Love Talk. <laughs> was that what that is? Um, I had a video where I talked about Sonic. The Chow Garden stuff, that story, right? All that was true, by the way. I can't believe I remembered that, like, so clearly. Because, yeah, it was a core memory. I think I brought it up. I, I, I do regret some things in that video, though, the Sonic one. I'm sitting there holding a microphone, and uh, I just that's just not a good look. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I think I have a fear... Of being like everyone else, you know what I mean. Even though I'm pretty, I appear to be pretty basic. I believe I do have that fear. Only in what I uh, create, you know. I don't want to make what everyone else is making. It, I feel like it's bad for my brain. Uh, I, I gotta be different, you know. But I feel like most people who have this feeling that they, they do something crazy like dye their hair blue, you know, they do something crazy like dye their hair blue. I don't know why I... It's not like I was just going to say die, right? Ugh, I'm exhausted. But I must stay vigilant. I must stay diligent. Uh, let's see here. 
uh, TT talk, though. I don't know. It's just says talk about nostalgia AC GameCube Animal Crossing. I think I, I think I want to do uh, like a uh, series. I think I want to do a not a series. I want to do a, just a video where I have an Animal Crossing GameCube town or something. Something and it just goes over like a whole month, you know, just a little bit day at a time. But it's like one video, it's like probably 20 minutes or something, just a month in that game, or maybe like just a actually, it might be more interesting if it was just like a super long time. This is like, uh, like I play it like once, once a week for like a year. Would that be interesting? Like, with the GameCube one, would that be fun? I don't know. Animal Crossing is not really popular content-wise, unless it's, like, it's stuff people already like to watch. Plus, that's, like, that's a lot of, that's a big commitment. I'll play every day for a week. That's, that's my uh, final. Every day for one day. Anyway, I don't do those TT talks anymore. Uh, wait, the reason... Wait, I didn't even explain why it was a bad look. It's not really a bad look, per se. I don't think people think about this type of stuff. It's just me. But it, Maybe this is just TikTok exposing me to more of these people, but there's so many. Like, really just an ungodly amount of guys holding a microphone talking about games, and they're zipping around the screen with editing. And it's, sometimes they're on a green screen, and it's 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 all just kind of emulating Nakey Jakey. Remember Nakey Jakey? He sits on an exercise ball, right? He's holding a microphone, I think. He uh, plays the Tony Hawk special trick sound effect every 10 seconds. You know, he's that guy. At least for me, he's that guy. But everybody just did what he did. It was like uh, in like 2014, 2015, where everybody was just copying Alpharad. Or the, it's not that everybody was copying him, but he just like created so many clones. You know, so now there's these clones of Nakey Jakey. So now I get to be a part of this group of microphone guys. Good for me. And they almost all look the same too. I already look like many people. You know, especially in the video gaming community. White guy with glasses and brown hair. It's insane. Anyway. Uh, next next idea on the list here. Uh, video where I... This is more like maybe a, a, a Scott the Waz type genre of video here. Level editors in games. Talk about that, you know. The hard thing is with, like, I wanted to, to, I've been planning Tev the Wes for a long time, but it's just, like, it's so much work to, like, make it good, you know? If I want to do something easy, I'll copy Nakey Jakey, you know? But, uh, yeah, levels at, level editors again, but it's, like, I, I don't know how to make that entertaining. I've, like, written a script, like, ten times like on different things and redid things. I don't know. It's just, kind of crazy, but level editors, that would make sense. But it's just, like, boring. I, I make it boring. I make the whole thing, and it's just, like, not interesting. Not the whole video, of course. Uh, anyway, here's uh, the next item on this list of video ideas that I have made. I didn't even think about doing this. It just came up on Discord. I make my notes in Discord, by the way. A documentary following me contemplating eating 20-year-old Pokemon gum. I talk with doctors, friends, my mom. They all tell me not to eat it. Ends with taste test. <laughs> this idea is crammed into this Pokemon gum idea, which, of course, I did make that video where I ate the gum, but it's not a documentary. I was thinking, like, supersize me. I don't know what, what I was inspired by. 
uh, if you remember, I actually did do the gum eating video, but it wasn't a documentary. Certainly wasn't. Maybe I'll do that with something else. Like I did, I talk about this in the last episode. The G Fuel drinking. I only drink G Fuel for a month, which is inspired, definitely inspired by Super Size Me, but mostly inspired by the parody of Super Size Me, which was in a Why This Kids You Know sketch where he only drinks whiskey for a month, something like that. Or he that's that's all he could eat is just whiskey. Anyway, this next video idea is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. It's where you make two dogs fight each other. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. I'm getting a text. You make two dogs fight each other uh, by... You put... You make them kind of wear like a Wii remote and a nunchuck. You kind of wrap it around them on like a harness or something. It's just flopping around. No danger to them. But these two dogs, uh, maybe puppies or something, maybe puppies. Um, they're just like flailing these Wii remote and nunchuck in Wii Sports boxing. Okay, so they're just waggling the controllers. They don't really know what's going on. So you just kind of attach these... We remotes to a dog, a dog's body, uh, and another dog, and then just, you can just have them run around or something. You know what I mean? So that's an idea I had. I, I don't have two dogs. I don't have one dog, really. So that's not really an option. Anyway, like if you get, here's a piece of advice for you guys. Here's a piece of advice. If you have an idea and you can do it, just do it. Don't wait till your other dog is dead, okay? Do it now. All right, here's uh, the next idea here. This one's strange. All right, this says in my notes, weird tech tutorial that gets weird. Like it's in a dungeon or something, and it's just... <laughs> How was I going to do that? And each time I click spacebar, it gets louder until I eventually smash it once. But act like I didn't do that. So I guess I'm referencing how in some tech tutorials they they hit they hit the like they have like the loudest keyboard, they're the loudest type, they hit the space bar, right? And then the one time I just smash it, just like shattering my keyboard but I, I, yeah i act like i didn't just do that i get that i get i get what he's saying that's a good idea but what do you mean in a dungeon <laughs> uh actually wait what's this oh i see here here's, here's a prank video prank video colon announce quitting from making videos because you're not appreciated and show the vids didn't get views Blame the viewers only, but the vids are fake and unwatchable. That's that's an all right idea. I mean, they already are unwatchable and fake currently, so that puts me in a tight spot. Okay, now that I'm looking at these future ideas, I think I knew what I was saying with dungeon. I, I, I do have access to a dungeon. Uh, I live near an abandoned old building I could sneak into and film in there. Uh, for example, this next idea, which is inspired by... Remember the Jay Wits? The Jay Wits. He made Pokemon videos. He's, uh, he's, he's a white guy with glasses and brown hair. I know those kind of all blend together in your memory, but you got to... Think about it. He, he made Pokemon. He kind of sounds like Kermit the Frog. You remember him. Uh, and he, he has dorky glasses. Uh, I know that doesn't narrow it down, but uh, uh, he made a video. I I think it's unlisted or something. It was so funny. Um, my brother and I would laugh about it. I gotta ask him if he remembers this video. But uh, he just had like. He, uh, he, he, like, was kind of giving a tour of his house, right? And he had all this Pokemon memorabilia figures and merchandise and whatever. 
And it was all just kind of sporadically, like, thrown about. It wasn't that neat, you know? <laughs> you can tell that, uh, well, no, not that you could tell. Maybe. It looked like his house flooded a week ago, and then it drained on its own, and then he made this video. It looked like, it just looked like a mess, and it was so weird. It was <laughs> dimly lit. It was dimly lit, and just looked like dank in there and it it was so funny and awkward i need to find this video he enlisted a bunch of his old ones for some reason anyway yeah basically it would just this just says showing off game collection in dirty basement like jay wits i'd love to do that i have to bring a bunch of games into this old building though it's definitely wet down there in this basement I have another video idea for that basement. That's going to be so funny if we ever do it, but it relies on other people. Luckily, there are no dogs that need to survive um, long enough for me to make this video idea that I'm thinking of right here in my brain. Uh, it, it involves this dungeon, all right? Anyway, there, there it is. G Fuel One Month that I talked about. There's a Scott the Waz confession video. You might see that one at some point because I just remembered it. And it's so easy to do. Going back to Breaking Bad, it's a lot like that confession. In that show, there's there's a video confession scene. When I want to do something like that, but it's Scott the Waz. He tried to kill me. He came into my house. He had an axe and he said, Hey y'all, Scott here. And that's when he swung the axe, barely missing my foot. And when it missed, he said, Damn it. And then I got up to run away, and he said, Um, Hey, y'all, where are you going? And I, I could not escape, and he, this is uh, when he got my hand, he chopped my hand off. I'm going to have to be missing a hand for this video. Uh, anyway, uh, I have another idea that I want to do. Luckily, not many people watch this. It's not like it's spoiling it, you know what I mean? I mean, listen, there's nothing to watch. Anyway, I just want to say I have this idea for a uh, speedrunning competition where I Speed run a very obscure game that no one's heard of. But I'm not really speed running it. Yeah, I get invited to um, a big speed running live event on stage. Okay, I get invited on to do this speed run. I have to speed run in front of everybody, you know. But uh, I don't know how to play this game. I've never played it. I don't know how to do anything. And... Uh, but I, I'm brought up on stage in Europe. I go to Europe. I, I have to go on a plane. I go to Europe. And then uh, I, I'm forced to play this without even knowing how to play. And uh, I make it all up, of course. It's all fabricated. You know. Uh, oh, there, there's another idea here. Finally beating Wii Tanks. Oh, and it says the thumbnail it was supposed to be the Tank Man. Uh, from China, you know, the, the, the famous Chinese uh, hero, the Tank Man. That was going to be the thumbnail, but I decided on something else. So I actually did do that idea. That video is cringe. But it was supposed to be cringe, but then, like, there's too many, like, slightly cringe moments for me. Like, there's the big cringe ones that I enjoy of that video. I made it to be cringe, but then it's just like, yeah, it's just not that good as well can make better videos and I will do that at some point <laughs> uh that's about it my computer is kind of taking a poo so I'm not able to continue forward unfortunately yeah I know I'm sorry I try to go an hour you know but uh, you know oh who's that one guy who's that one uh YouTube streamer who talks like that he's known for his Zelda videos you know like, guys, I, I've been streaming for an extra 20 minutes, and no one's gi given me any support. No one's given me any donations, guys. So, you know, they tell you, I look up how to be a good streamer, and they tell you if you 
if you put in the work, uh, your viewers will notice. And yet no one's given me support in the past 50 minutes. Well, who's that? What guy is that? He's funny. He's so bad at games, dude. He got to Ganon and Tears of the Kingdom with like eight hearts. He's like, I'm sorry, Nintendo, but this game sucks. I'm sorry. You you make a boss where uh, he kills you in one hit and you can't even heal. You can't even heal in this fight. Like he's just not using the Sunday Lions, I guess. Like I'm sorry, Nintendo, but this game is a piece of shit. You made a bad game. I'm sorry you dropped the ball. I can't help you with that. He sounds just like that. That's so weird that I'm able to do that. That's that's I'm, I'm surprised. Anyway. It's been fun, guys. It's been fun. I do have uh, some things to do, like going to sleep. This is the Sleepy Time Podcast. I am your host, Tim Tedlev. Sorry my co-host fell asleep, but, you know, that's Tevlev for you. Who else but Tevlev? Uh, anyway, let's wrap this up with uh, one last idea here. This just says, playing Pac-Man for... 1,534 hours straight. What does that mean? I kind of remember what that means, but it's less fun to explain it, I feel like. So, with that being said, it's time to end. It's time to stop. Um... Oh, I got a lot of ideas in here. Well, maybe that can be a part two. Yeah, look at that. Wait, whoa. There's a bunch of weird stuff in here. Well, it's not weird. It's just like, I haven't looked back at these notes in such a long time. It's like these old videos. I've made a lot of these, you know. And... Discord server is old. I'm getting old. Anyway, it's been fun, guys. It's been real. It's been great. I'm always bad at saying goodbyes, you know? I feel like if you say you're bad at goodbyes, that means you're like, you get like emotional and sentimental or whatever. I'm bad at goodbyes because I'm awkward. I don't know how, I don't know how to end anything. You know, so, Anybody who leaves uh, an interaction with me, they leave on their own. They leave because they really, really want to. They don't leave because I'm subtly, socially manipulating them to leave. You know, I'm not a jerk like everyone else. I do not um, socially manipulate. I don't socially anything. I don't manipulate anything. The only thing I manipulate is uh, these Pop-Tarts into my gullet. You know what I mean? I got some Wildberry Pop-Tarts today. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. And some uh, Goldfish. Goldfish baked snack crackers. So good. They smile right back at you. All right, here's the bag. What does that say? Goldfish Bake Snack Crackers. Is that what I said? Oh, they're so good. They're so good. All right. Well, it's been fun. It's been real. Have a rotten day.